The airport at Putsakana can be a little crazy, so I would suggest having your transportation prearranged. We booked with Seasons and they picked us up in a suburban, just the two of us, so it was really nice. So now we're heading to the resort. It takes about 35 or 40 minutes to get there. So we just sat back, relaxed, and enjoyed the view. champagne awaiting for us at our arrival then we went to the excellence club room and we're checked in right away we're at the excellence pizza Cana, room 2 2009 this is a excellence club junior suite with private plunge pool when you first come in the bathroom is off to the left has the double sinks it has a big rainfall shower so your hair will get wet it has the upgraded um, toiletries and then this is your um, water closet with the toilet and your extra towels coming back around there is a closet for your room service where you can put your dirty dishes and get your room service and the second closet is your safe you have a steamer not an iron beach bag and extra towels in the third closet, you have um, robes in your luggage rack and luggage bag. Coming in, the room looks like this. There's a nice um, king size bed, big mirror, a sitting area. Um, there's the tub and television. So now we're walking back through the lobby. As you can see, it's very beautiful. And this is where you would check in if you're not a club guest when you arrive. This is what it looks like. There's some fountains. We had to check those little things. They look like phone booths, but they're empty inside. There's lots of seating around the lobby area. It's an open air lobby. So like the middle section there, it's open. So we're just continuing to walk through the lobby and look around. As you can see, it's very beautiful. Um, over to the left is where you can have your buffet for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. This is the main pool. It's where all the partying happens. They have the entertainment team there and they play games and things like that throughout the day. As you can see, there's lots of seating around the pool. Now we're heading over. This is um, the Oregano restaurant. It's the Italian restaurant. We're going back through looking at the main pool. Now we are walking toward the back side of the restaurant. There's another um, fountain, lagoon, or there's lots of greenery around. This is kind of an area where people float under the bridge and they use the floats and float around. You can see the blue floats that are there in the pool. We're headed this way, and this is the beach area. As you can see, the water is beautiful. It's beautiful blue. It was really windy on the beach that day, so you really couldn't hear me talking. Um, there was a little seaweed to the left of the resort, but they usually clean that up every day. We actually saw some horses over to the left on one day, which was really um, cool to look at. You can see the beach area is big, it's beautiful. They have plenty of seating. So 
this is the Gaines area. Oh, my camera's a little foggy because it's so humid out here. So we just walk down this little path here and over here there are some uh, pool tables and over here there is a table tennis these are the tennis courts coming over we have um, pickleball and across from the pickleball there is archery some people are playing right now and there there's darts over there that you can play and there is a basketball court So that is the games area. And then we're gonna head this way to, there's the bar and the Allegria, um, Allegria bar and the gym. It's beautiful here, there we go. All right, let's go this way. And we'll see the, this is the fitness center, which I won't be going to, but we can see what it looks like. I'm glad they put that in English, push. So they have classes you can take. You can sign, you can look at the schedule. And then there's the gym. They have cardio and weight training in there. Right. So we just left the gym. This is when we're walking this way. So that's what it looks like. It's a nice, pretty walkway. Lots of vegetation. I think this is gonna lead us to a shopping and a bar. We'll see. So this is the front of the resort. I think this is a bar or a club. We don't know. There's the suburbans that this season's um, transportation picks you up in. We got a white one yesterday. It was nice. Just the two of us, not a big um, bus or a van. Yeah. And that's the gift shop right here gonna go in there later and now we're walking back up to the resort Building three, building two, where we're staying, and this is building one. Hot tub has the lights on. Sadly, they do say don't get in the water at night, but it's pretty to look at. Alright, so we're taking a walk to the botanical garden. It's here on the 
Excellence property. This is what it looks like. It's very um, green. I believe there's some birds and some flamingos. Oh, there are the flamingos. I can see them there. Walk over here and see the flamingos and the other wildlife that they have here on the property. Oh, I see lots of birds. I don't know about that. And let's see. Oh, let's put this here in the shade because it is very hot. There. Okay. Silver. All righty, so there we go. There's um, two flamingos over there. And other ducks and things in the order. I saw some people that are feeding them. I guess that's okay. I don't know where the feed is. We'll have to um, find out. I don't know that I want to feed them though because I don't like a whole bunch of stuff around me. All right, let's go over here and see what happens. So there's some, um, I guess those are geese. Two white geese there. Yeah, so don't come here if you're scared of birds. There are lots of birds up in the trees. They're up there. Lots of bird sounds. All right, we're gonna keep walking and go down this little over the bridge here. See what we can find. So Keith is feeding the birds here at the Excellence Mexicana. Uh, there are more are coming. I'm just gonna stand over here. She's being brave. This is the lagoon. It's on the back of their resort. And this is what it looked like over here. If you have a garden view, this is on the non-club side. I just couldn't get enough of sitting on the beach and looking at this gorgeous water. It's so peaceful and relaxing. We spent lots of our time here with drinks in our hand. We always made sure our glasses were full. So it did rain a bit on our stay, but it usually didn't last long. <laughs> Day we did an excursion we used happy fish cameran it was beautiful out um, we did one stop we stopped and snorkeled and came down the slide on the boat then we went to a shallow area where lots of other party boats were got off my husband um, paddleboarded for the first time they had a floating bar for us it was lots of fun night we had dinner at spice it is the only restaurant you need reservations for it fills up early so I would suggest making them early so to our last day here stage six we're on this this our last for some lunch and this is our last view of the beach um, we leave in about an hour, a little over an hour, so we're going to grab something to eat and then just go sit on the beach and enjoy the 